on this hot summer day I got the AC blasting so I decided I should probably stick to a hobby that involves me staying inside so went to my local Wells Fargo and I picked up some coins to hunt through unfortunately the nickels are uncirculated I have one more Wells Fargo closer to my house that I can possibly do a one-for-one -one exchange on uh, but if not the pennies I check both of those and they are circulated pennies so we're probably going to do a video on my Lincoln Memorial album fill so let's go ahead and get home we might have a nickel video today we might not and let's hunt some rolls I'll see you when I find something worth showing hey what's up guys little man with a big opinion here today we're going to continue our Lincoln Memorial scent album hunt um, if you are not aware, because you haven't watched the first one, which I'll put down in the description below, we are only filling this album up with mint state condition coins. Um, so they need to have luster to them. Uh, they need to look like they just came off the mint press. So, for example, the oldest one we have in here is a 1963D. And as you can see, the coins have to have some sort of mint luster left to them. Um, like always, we are looking for wheat pennies, Indian heads, varieties and errors, and foreigns. So, this will be the second episode of this series. And I'll get the album out of the way. And I've already cracked the top to make sure it is circulated coins. We've got circulated coins here. And I'll bring you in with something worth showing. Alright, we are on roll number three. And we have found our first wheat penny. Got a 1952 Denver. Along with one first year Lincoln Memorial 59. So we'll stick that up there. And... For the wrap up, I'm not quite putting the coins inside of their holders just to know the new ones that I'm adding. And so just for an example of what I mean by very lustrous, this is definitely a red brown 68 from Philadelphia. So this is the kind of stuff I'm looking for for this album. All right, we still have a lot of the box to go. So let's keep this hunt rolling. All right, we just found our second wheat penny in roll number six. And it was facing me, but I'll let y'all know that was a 1959D. And from the looks of this coin, it looks like it was underground, but second wheat penny of the box. And let's keep looking. And the album is getting some fillers. All right, I'll bring y'all in when I find something worth showing. All right, so it's not a wheat penny find, but it is a somewhat semi keyed penny. We've got a 1968S that is a stunner of a coin. Looks great. And if we go over to the album, while it does have a quarter of a million minted, if you take a look at the 68D and 68 Philadelphia, 2.8 million and 1.7 million. So finding that in that condition will help us out a ton. It's not the rarest coin that we have to find, but it's up there in some of the rarest coins we need to find. And that was found in roll number 14. So let's keep this hunt rolling. I'll bring you into roll number 15 because sticking out of the back here, I saw the wheat penny ears. 1957D. That makes wheat penny numero three with two first year Lincoln Memorials, a 69S. Oh, camera lag there for a second. And then this 1973 Philadelphia is just slightly off struck. So, I'm holding it off to the side for now, and now I have to go through the rest of this roll. So, 
Still have a majority of the box left. Let's keep this hunt rolling. Well, we got another very stunning red-brown coin from the 60s in 1966. So I'll get that placed there. And let's keep this hunt rolling. Still only have three wheat pennies. And we are two rolls away from halfway through the box. I'll bring y'all in if there's anything else worth showing. Very same roll, the second to last coin is a very corroded wheat penny. And it's a 1945 from Philadelphia. Stick that there. We're on, we have four. We have two rolls until the halfway point of the box. And so fairly close to on par for hitting nine for the average. But enough chitter chatter. Let's keep this hunt rolling. Just flattened out roll number 27. And sticking out right here, we got the front facing us. 1941 Philadelphia. All right, that makes Wheat Penny. Oh, Wheat Penny number five. So still on par for nine. Filling up quite a few spots, but let's keep this hunt rolling. All right, I bring you in because I have two finds in this box. The first one is going to be a little bit of a red, oh, as I drop it, a little bit of a red brown 1960 from Denver. I don't think it tops the other one that I found in this album, but I will put it next to it just to compare them. But I also saw a coin with some dots on the edges of it. So that doesn't belong there. If I can pick it up. We got a Canadian Queen Elizabeth. 1995. And for those of you wondering, um, holding on to Canadian pennies is a good thing now because they discontinued their penny here recently. Uh, so we're not getting any more Canadian cents. So what you find in your boxes is going to be what you get. Now, there's still billions upon billions of them in circulation, but they're a good thing to hold on to. We are on roll number 34. And I will go through the rest of this and see if there's anything else worth putting in the album. All right, let's keep this hunt rolling. All right, just cracked open roll number 35, and it's not going to be a wheat scent because I haven't flattened the rolls out. But we've got a dime in there. So I will finish unrolling this roll, and I'll pull the dime out. And if there's any wheat scents, I'll let you know. But if not, we're going to keep the hunt rolling. We're up at least nine cents. Let's find some more. All right, I bring you in. We have nine rolls left in the box, so it's been pretty slow, but we have found Wheat Penny numero nine, and based off the back of it, it kind of looks old, maybe. Ooh, 1910, that is definitely. Now, looking at the reverse, it only looked like a 20s or a 30s, but knowing it's a 1910, it looks pretty good. It has also been an ender at some point because it's got a little part of a half circle there and a little part of a circle up there. Either that or that's just damage. It's sustained in its 121 year life. 111 year life. Definitely the oldest of the box. And that is a nice find to put with the rest of the wheat pennies along with a handful of First year Lincoln Memorials, a dime, and the one Canadian. All right, we got nine rolls left and the rest of this one, so I'll bring you in if there's anything else worth showing. Let's keep this hunt rolling. All right, we got a giant pile of empty paper, so that means the box is done. So I miscounted earlier. I only had six wheat pennies. I actually tied with first year Lincoln Memorials, so we had six of those. We had the one Canadian, one dime, one 1969S. It's a lower mintage uh, coin compared to its other uh, 
years. So I just kind of held it off to the side just to show it. And then the 73 and the 72 um, have a wider rim on the left side where they don't have a rim um, on their 4.30, 5.30 o'clock-ish uh, side. Not enough to uh, make them valuable, but I just kind of held them off to the end. Uh, the find of the box is definitely going to be this 1910. Um, when I saw the back, I knew it was going to be an older coin, and it being a teens wheat scent the condition is not all that terrible except for uh the fact that it was an ender coin or sustained um a somewhat circular amount of damage on it now for the album we did fill up quite a few more spots the oldest fill is going to be between these 1960 d's uh 62 we have completed that 63s we have completed those, as well as the 1966, uh, only coming from Philadelphia that year. And we still have quite a few holes. But you can see all of the filler coins. This one is possibly going to be a replacement. But we did a fairly good job. I didn't count up and run the numbers just yet. Um, and I'm being very picky on this last page on the coins that are going to go in it, uh, because I should definitely be able to find really good looking coins for the last page. So I'm going to pause the video real quick and talk about how many holes that I have to fill. All right. So we still have 37 missing holes out of 90. That does include the Memorial reverse. I'm probably going to put a 2021 in there just... No, I forgot. So last year for uh, the Lincoln Memorial back is going to be a 2008. So I'll put a 2008 in there that I find that is a really good looking coin. So still have quite a ways to go on this album. But uh, the one other thing I did forget to mention is I had a decent stack of 2009s. This stack being more lustrous, 2009s. And this stack being a little bit dirtier, torn up, 2009s. I think I had eight total. But this is the second hunt for this box, or for this album fill. And if you enjoyed it, go check out the first one if you didn't watch that one. Uh, like always, I look for wheat pennies foreigns, miscellaneous coins like this dime, and varieties and errors. And I'll catch you in the next video.